Hi everyone, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. So today I want to talk about a fragrance from the house of Kenzo. And I don't think I've ever talked about anything from this house yet. I think be, this will be the first time. This is Kenzo Amour. So I have a little sample here. I think I've gone through maybe three or four samples of this perfume. Um, and it's weird that I haven't really talked about it yet before because I do really love this perfume. So Kenzo Amour, let me just pull up the notes here. I'll read them out to you. Um, just give me a second. Oh, first of all, I'll show you guys the bottle. <laughs> it's a very unique, interesting bottle here. You can see that. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to symbolize or emulate, but it looks like some kind of... It looks, it looks like an art piece or maybe a vase or something like that. So this was released in 2005. The notes in here are white tea in the top, white tea and rice. In the middle notes, there's cherry blossom, frangipani, and heliotrope. And in the base notes, there's musk, vanilla, woody notes, and incense. So those were the notes. Just give me one second here. Okay, so those were the notes, but honestly, you guys, this fragrance reminds me of another perfume, and it's one of my all-time favorite perfumes ever, ever, that I've ever smelled, and I've talked a lot about this perfume on my channel. <laughs> this is from the House of Dior, and it's Hypnotic Poison. So, yeah, I have sprayed the Kenzo Amor on a paper here. And literally, you guys, the opening of Kenzo Amor smells so similar to Hypnotic Poison. It actually feels like Kenzo Amor could have been a great flanker for Hypnotic Poison. They're not the same fragrance, you guys, but they have, they're similar. They're very, very similar to my nose. So Kenzo Amor is a gourmand, a gourmand fragrance. Uh, tons of vanilla in the opening, actually throughout the whole perfume. But the opening to me is basically a toned down version or interpretation of Hypnotic Poison. So picture the original Hypnotic Poison, toned down the vanilla, the almond, the marzipan. That's pretty much what the opening of Kenzo Amor is. I do get a little bit of the Play-Doh vibe in here, whereas with Hypnotic Poison, I get that Play-Doh thing sometimes, not all the time, but in the in the Kenzo Amor, to me, I'm reminded a little bit of Play-Doh, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's more so the texture of Play-Doh, and then it's sweetened with vanilla and um, marzipan and almond, and there aren't any almond or marzipan notes in the Amour, the Kenzo Amour, but I definitely, I definitely see a really strong connection between the Kenzo Amour and the Hypnotic Poison. So the resemblance is most strong in the opening. As this fragrance dries down, as this fragrance dries down, it does start smelling a little bit different. Um, it is a very cozy and warm fragrance, just like the Hypnotic Poison is, but more so in the mid and in the dry down, the Kenzo Amor, to my nose, gets much more powdery, and you get that powdery heliotrope in here. More so than the other flowers, it's mostly that powdery, beautiful heliotrope, which to my nose, heliotrope sometimes can smell like almond. So <laughs> there's another connection between Amour and Hypnotic Poison. So also in the dry down, I do get this very dry woodiness that starts emerging on my skin. And also, and the, my, my most favorite part of this perfume, in the dry down, I get this gorgeous milkiness that comes. And the milkiness kind of reminds me of like a watery milk, like say for example, if you're making rice, and there is rice in this, yeah, there are rice notes in this perfume. Um, I grew up eating rice like throughout my entire life for breakfast, lunch, and dinner when I was growing up. So whenever my mom would uh, 
make rice, she would rinse it out and then the rice would uh, kind of make the water that you're rinsing it in like kind of like a milky wateriness and it did have this distinct smell. Also, she would save the rice water and use it in some of like some dishes in Filipino dishes. So that milkiness, like this watery, thin milkiness of the rice water, I do get in here and it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. <laughs> So basically, I would say Kenzo Amore is like a, a more powdery version of Hypnotic Poison with some added milkiness. It's very delicious. It's very delicate and elegant. Um, it's not as strong, I would say, on my skin at least. It's not as strong with performance. Um, it doesn't project as much, but it just really feels like a warm, cozy blanket. A sweet warm cozy elegant beautiful blanket that I'm wearing whenever I've worn Kenzo Amore and I just really love it it's just a lovely scent you guys it is a great alternative to hypnotic poison say if you found hypnotic poison too cloying or too strong or maybe whatever it is that you didn't like it here maybe Kenzo Amore would be uh, something you can try on your skin to see if it works because although they don't smell exactly the same there's definitely a lot of similarities between the two and I just honestly think that Kenzo Amore kind of would be a awesome flanker to Hypnotic Poison if they were to make one because they just amped up the powderiness and this really gorgeous rice milk note in it that makes it really smooth and silky and super delicious and not as thick as the hypnotic, hypnotic poison, not as cloying as hypnotic poison can be. And I just love this. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys have tried Kenzo Amore, let me know in the comments what you think of it. I honestly think it's fantastic. You can find it on discount websites for a reasonable price, around 30, 30-ish 30 euros. Um, so I think that's a great deal and especially if you found hypnotic poison to maybe not work as well on your skin or you found it difficult to wear or if it's too thick and cloying for you then Kenzo Amore I think would be a great great option to try um, and it's fantastic <laughs> really 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 would recommend it so those are my thoughts on Kenzo Amore I guess versus hypnotic poison I still I love both of them um, it would Kenzo Amore is probably something I would consider buying because I just love everything about it, you guys. And yeah, that's all for me today. So I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.